Welcome to MSS Great Channel. In this video, you will learn how to invoke the Power Automate within the SharePoint SPFX framework. For this video, I have this agenda for today. The first one, you would create a simple Power Automate flow which would search REST API using a SharePoint and it gets the search result as an HTML file and returns it back to the SPFX web part. The SPFX web part will invoke the Power Automate as a JSON format and this is the format which you would look for. So this is a JSON format which you will look into the Power Automate where you can see the keyword would be passed from the SPFX web part and it would get the result as an HTML file. To learn more about how to completely create the Power Automate by step by step, I've already created another video. You can watch this video on my channel on how to create that Power Automate. In this video, I'm going to extend that same Power Automate to get a HTTP request and send the HTTP request as a HTML file. This is the YouTube channel where I have posted already the Power Automate which searches by the keyword using the REST API inside a SharePoint. I would post the URL in the description video later. Later you can watch the step-by-step -step process on how to uh, create that. I'm going to just extend uh, one of this workflow or the Power Automate to have it as a HTTP. So this is the Power Automate which I have already created. You can see here, uh, this Automate is invoked by the manual trigger. Later I would change that to trigger from the HTTP request. It calls to the SharePoint REST API. It takes the format, JSON format as the keyword. So when it passes the uh, keyword to the search result API, it passes the JSON. And finally, I'm getting the result parsing into a format which is file name, path, modified and modified by property from the search result and running through a loop of all the search result and forming a HTML. This HTML is sent back to the request later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and add the HTTP request now. So this HTTP request, if you see here, HTTP, oh, sorry, you can make use of HTTP request. When a HTTP request is received, and you can specify the JSON format. Remember I shown you the JSON format which is in the PowerPoint before. I'm going to use the same JSON schema to uh, get the input. So this is the format I'm going to use to get the input for the HTTP request. There is a keyword and the search method. In this sample, I'm just going to use only the keywords. And once it receives the input, whatever the input which it receives, I'm going to just pass it into the REST API. So inside that, let me save the value. So once I save this, it would automatically uh, create the URL for the HTTP request. So make sure that you save it. And once you save, it would parse and you get the keyword. Let me click here. See here, the input is already passed. I get the keyword and pass it to the HTML or the HTTP request or the REST API call. Then save this value. So now this uh, Power Automate is ready to be invoked by HTTP request. I'm, I'm going to just make it as a POST request. So on the method, you need to specify. I'm going to put it as a POST method because I'm expecting a body with a JSON format of this. So later I would pass this from the SPFX web part. And all these processes are the same. And finally, we need to send a HTTP response. So I would just say HTTP and the response. 
HTTP response. Let me go back. Okay, and the uh, HTTP response. The response here. And whenever the status is kind of a successful, it always sends you the 200 code. And I'm going to just send the body, whatever the HTML output is. So here you just have to send this create HTML table output. That's it. So now this Power Automate is converted into an executable HTTP uh, get and post or the post and uh, uh, get response. This Power Automate, I'm going to invoke it through um, the SPFX now. So let's start creating an SPFX uh, web part. So I'm going to create a SPFX web part. This is the command I would use usually. That combines everything. Start the execution of the creation of the framework or the project. I would say no and it would start creating the SPFX web part. So now the SPFX web part has been created, the project has been created successfully. I'm going to open that in the Visual Studio code. I opened it in the Visual Studio code. So now if you can see here, uh, you can see the basic, this is just the basic uh, SPFX web part. Let me zoom it so that it is clearer to you. Okay, so this is the web part. It is a default web part, which I have not changed anything. So now I'm going to add a uh, code to invoke those workflow and then get the power automate and get the result. To do that, I'm not going to use any of the framework. This is a plain uh, TypeScript web part. I have not included any React or uh, Angular or any other uh, JavaScript framework. I'm going to use only the plain JavaScript with the TypeScript example in this scenario. So now I'm going to change this HTML to look a bit better so that uh, it would have a format to get the values as a keyword. So let me change this to take so slightly I modified it. Let me run this to show how it looks like. So it should invoke the building and invoking it. Let me add the web part. So this is the web part which it finds here. So basically I have changed the HTML to just have a text box and a search pattern. That's it. So this would uh, this, this is the HTML I'm using now. Later I would add the code uh, to get the value from it. And if you see here, I added the input with the ID search keyboard, search keyword, and this is search keyword will be used. So now I'm going to add a code to call this part. So probably I will create public uh, a function to invoke, say invoke invoke function, which is uh, which it takes only void, and it is a TypeScript function. Okay, it is a void and TypeScript function. So now I'm going to uh, use only the plain TypeScript function. So for that, I need to uh, add a listener to the existing button. Let's say, for example, let button equal to document dot get get element by ID. Yes, get element by ID, and my ID is the search button. Okay. So now I am going to add uh, on click listener to this button. So just use this button and add a listener, event listener, which is a click event. 
and for the click event i want to process uh, my I, I want to invoke the typescript function which is been uh, declared here so this is the syntax which i am going to use this is the invoke method sorry let me change this it should work now yes so basically what it happens is i am getting the button by the id and just uh, adding a function that's it and this function will be invoked when you click on that so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to get the value of the text box and uh, get the result of it to save okay let me copy this and put it here so basically i'm adding let me format it Okay, so if you see here, I'm typecasting the HTML input to get the value of it. And this value will be used to invoke the flow. Right now, I'm just going to use console.log and show how it looks like console.log and the value of the text input. Or maybe I'll just use alert function, simple alert to show that the value has been retrieved. So this will return the text. That's it. Save it. And it should refresh your finished. It should refresh. Yes. Let me type blockchain search. See here. So a simple event listener have been added and I'm just getting the text and displaying it. It's a very simple JavaScript. Uh, within the TypeScript. So now this is working fine. And now I'm going to add the original code to call the uh, flow within the API. So now I'm going to use a variable, which is the flow URL. Later I need to copy this URL uh, into the, from the flow. So remember we had, we added the HTTP request. So that I have to get in. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to call this method using the HTTP AJAX call. So I'm going to just use the AJAX call. Let me format it. Okay, save that. Okay, so right now I'm using only the plain JavaScript within the TypeScript. There is no framework. That's why I'm using XML HTTP request. The request is the post request. The flow URL later I'll copy from the flow or the Power Automate. I keep calling it as flow because I've been using it from flow period. And if the request is successful, I'm just printing the request, which is the HTML. And finally, the result is set to the result inner HTML. The result inner HTML is the one which I'm getting it from the result search. This is the div tag. It is going to set as an inner HTML. I also have a loading text, which is this text. So whenever you click on search button, I'm hiding it. I'm showing it for a while, which is loading dot style dot display equal to block. And once everything is done, I'm just, uh, I'll have to make it to hide here. So basically it becomes none. That's it. Okay. So now what it, uh, this should invoke your flow. Let me find out the URL from the flow. This is the flow which is being created. Okay, manual search flow. You just copy the URL from here. And once you copy the URL, you need to put it right away here. That's it. This is the URL which you're going to pass. Save it. And later it should invoke and get the result as HTML. So now I have save this let me save this it would refresh my web part it would refresh it has to yes so now this is the power automate uh, let me go to the power automate history here okay nothing is running now i'm going to invoke this using some keyword the keyword which i'm going to use is the blockchain because i have some document uploaded into sharepoint with blockchain when I click search, see here, loading please wait, which I have added in the code, which is invoking here. Uh, we should wait for a while so that uh, Power Automate is invoked. 
let me go back and refresh here uh, see here it has started running so now it has successfully invoked the power automate and the power automate has started running and we should be able to see the power automate status here while it is still waiting for the request here and see here now uh, the power automate has sent the result and it has complete and it has successfully completed see here this is the response you can see which is sent as a html format and this html format is captured by your spfx and this spfx will show it in nicer format of a html uh, table so this becomes much simple uh, for invoking the power automate from the uh, spfx web part and the code sample is very simple here you just uh, use uh, two three line of a code that's it hope you like the video uh, please subscribe my channel and share the video thank you so much for watching